Proverbs and I'm so excited to be bringing you this tutorial oh my gosh I've had this idea in my head for like forever literally I think I purchased the items to do this at around Christmas and I just don't know why but I just didn't get around to doing it I suppose it was the fear of how difficult it might be but actually ended up being super super easy um, the only bit that was a little bit tricky was sorting out the velcro part but I will talk to you about that at the end um, I really have been trying to come at you with stuff that is original and I have not seen anybody do this on YouTube or on Pinterest or anything like that um, but I have seen people come up with like hand warmers and like um, hot water bottles that are made of oats and rice and I kind of thought hold on a minute let's make one that we could use to condition our hair because you know I am a working mother I have I, I mean I'm trying to build my YouTube thing I'm super busy like literally I don't even sleep enough honestly that's the truth and um, so to think that I've got to find an hour of my time to sit under a dryer or, or half an hour even to sit under a dryer to treat my hair and condition my hair is something that I really just cannot do and if I if I feel like it's going to be too difficult to do consistently I just won't do it ever so with this you can actually put a heat source in the actual steaming hat and you can go about your daily life and do whatever you want to do anyway if you want to see how I do this then keep watching so what you'll need for this is a towel -y kind of turban, hair turban, and some Velcro which you can get from a haberdashery as well as some socks. In addition you're going to need some filler, I decided that I was going to use rice, now you could use white basmati or any rice really, or brown, uh, the brown does give a bit of an aroma which I prefer not to have, or you could use oats. Uh, in addition, I'm going to be using some lavender. You can use any herbs that you like the smell of when you're deep conditioning and it just adds a nice little aroma. So let's get into it. Here I have the socks which I got for like £2.50 from Primark and these are going to actually be the warming um, bodies that are going to be in your turban. So what's going to determine the retention of heat is your filler and I've decided like I said to use white basmati rice. This definitely has a lot less of a smell, in fact there's barely a smell to it when you warm it up as opposed to the brown rice which definitely has more of an aroma to it. It depends really on what you would prefer to use. So when you're satisfied with the amount of filler that you've put in, all you want to do is fold down the edges and then you're going to do a very basic stitch across the bottom in order to make sure that the rice doesn't fall out. As you'll be able to see, I am no expert at sewing. To be perfectly honest, I was pretty proud of my work. There's a little cross stitch going on. And as I said, you can also fill in some of your pockets or all of them with lavender in addition to the rice. And that does help to give a wonderful smell. So this is the lineup of socks that you can use now. Um, it's up to you at this stage. You can actually attach these directly to your turban or you can use some cloth to make pockets that will go into your turban. Now if you're going to attach directly to the turban, you need to ensure that there's absolutely no metallic portions. If there are buttons, etc., you may wish to remove that and just read the um, constituents of the actual fabric to make sure there's no metal because otherwise if you put it into a microwave and there's metal that's going to cause sparks and it's going to be explosive or flammable so I decided that I'm actually going to be making pockets I roughly cut up a piece of fabric and then I grab some velcro again this stage was the most difficult because I ended up using a sewing machine to actually attach it because I kept thinking it was gonna fall off if I didn't 
So what I did here was I just roughly tacked my um, fabric so all of the frayed edges were hidden. I didn't really have a sharp pair of scissors so there were lots of frayed edges and that was really, really irritating to me. Once I'd done that, I actually measured out the pieces of Velcro that I was going to be needing. One that's actually going to go on the cloth and the other that's going to go onto the turby. And I just made sure that I had the two opposing sticky sides and kind of got to work stitching that onto the cloth and then I stitched that onto the fabric of the turby, fabric of the turby. <laughs> So here I am with the pockets actually already stitched in and you can see the velcro at the front. I've also put conditioner into my hair and then a plastic cover and I've warmed up my um, little socks and put them into the turby. I just wanted to show you the two different sock things that I used. Um, you could either do a full bag like this or you can make one that you kind of divide up the product so that the um, the rice doesn't all end up like at the bottom if you don't want to fill it overly. But I did prefer this thicker, fuller version. Or you could do one that you kind of stitch down the middle to kind of partition everything. Um, that's up to you. I did find that the rice warmed up better and retained the heat better. Uh, be sure to put this, when you're putting it into your microwave, you wanna put it in with some water and it does actually retain the heat. Depending on how long you heat it up for, it can retain heat for 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes or so. Uh, some people have been able to get theirs to hold heat for about an hour. Uh, maybe I just need to warm my mine up more. But um, please let me know if you're gonna give this a try. So a question that you might be asking is, why exactly do I need to apply heat in order for the moisture to actually get under the hair shaft? Do you like that? Under the hair shaft. And um, in order for it to get under the hair shaft, you actually need to apply heat. So if you imagine, like, this is your hair, and you've got, oh my gosh, maybe I need a model. You've got shingles all the way down your hair, kind of like a roof, and they're laid down flat by all the product you put in and the oils that you've used to seal in your moisture and you've washed it and maybe you used a cool rinse at the end um, and they're basically laid down flat. So in order to actually get them to lift so that the moisture can actually go into the hair shaft, you need to actually apply heat. And that what that does is it causes the uh, cuticle uh, shafts uh, the cuticle tiles to lift up and then your moisture can go in and then you finish off with a nice cool rinse and then it's sealed in even better you can uh, spray on some aloe vera juice to give you that shine so the question is what to do with all that free time that you've got from not sitting under the dryer well you could give a minion a hug or you can spend some time catching up with friends or let's be real this minion needs to be delivered to a little somebody you want the rolling pin? Or do you want the minion? <laughs> Bye. Ooh, Kelly. Oh, Kelly. <laughs>